in this question they want us to simplify so the first thing I can identify is that we have um, fractions so we're gonna need to get a common denominator however the first thing I can see is that these two are almost the same can you see that they are exact opposites here the two is a positive here the two is a negative here the x is a negative but here the x is a positive so there is an easy way we can switch this around you can either choose to switch this one or you can switch this one it's your choice I'm gonna switch to this one how do I do that all that I do is I change that sign from what it is to the opposite so it becomes a positive then I am allowed so all that I'm gonna do to do that is I'm gonna take out a negative as a common factor over here so that negative or that 2 is then going to become a negative 2 and this is going to become a plus x and then over here we're just going to be left with that now inside this bracket these two things are now being added when two things are being added the order doesn't matter so and have a look here these two negatives are going to become a positive now okay and then at the top we have 5x minus 6 at the bottom we said that when you are adding these two things the order doesn't matter so it's just going to become x minus 2 the x is still positive and the 2 is still negative I just switched the order and then we've got that and here we go now we can see that these two are the same in summary what we actually just did guys of course we have to show the little steps but what we actually just did is we switched these two around and we changed the sign of that one that is it notice this negative became a positive and then this two became a negative but the X became a positive that is all that we did we switched the sign here and we switched that around that's what we actually have changed okay the reason we did that is so that these two are now the same and so now we can see that we have a lowest common denominator which would have to be X minus 2 so that means that this x is going to have to be multiplied by x minus 2 and this one is also going to have to be multiplied by x minus 2 so that all of them can be written over x minus 2. So I just want to write this a little bit more spread out so we have a bit more space. So to get this one to become x minus 2 I'm just going to multiply the bottom by x minus 2 and what you do to the bottom you do to the top and then for this one I'm going to do the exact same. Okay now what some learners like to do is they combine these two together and just multiply both of those by x minus 2. That's also fine. So what we're going to end up with now is x times x minus 2 over x minus 2 minus 3 times x minus 2 over x minus 2 plus 5x minus 6 over x minus 2 minus 4 over x minus 2. So now all of them are over x minus 2 some of you might be wondering can we now ignore the denominator if you thought about that what you are thinking of is something a little bit different what you're thinking of is equations where we have an equal sign um, like for example that if it was an equation and we were solving for X then at this step over here where you've got the same denominator you could then um, get rid of that denominator so what should we do well we're just gonna put everything together now and we're gonna write it all over that same denominator which is x minus 2 so we're gonna have x x minus 2 minus 3 x minus 2 plus 5 x minus 6 minus 4 now we are going to multiply the brackets out so we're gonna end up with x squared take away 2x take away 3x add 6 add 5x take away 6 take away 4 now last step we're just going to put everything together so th there is only one type of x there's only one x squared for the x's it's minus 2 minus 3 which is minus 5 plus 5 so the x's cancel and then for this one it's plus 6 minus 6 so those cancel minus 4 so we're just going to be left with minus 4 and then you must understand that x squared minus 4 can actually be factorized into x minus 2 
x plus 2 because it's a difference of squares. And then the x minus 2s could then cancel. And then we're left with the final answer of x plus 2.